Awesome. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, everybody, I'm actually going to shut myself off from the camera just so that we don't get any freezing going on. Um, but I am absolutely thrilled to be here today. So thank you guys for having me. Um, and Greg's right. We're going to actually talk about declining declines and, and, and how they suck because nobody ever get, likes to get a decline. Um, you will get one CE credit for this presentation. And this next slide is really just something that assumption said that I had to throw in there. I'm not going to talk about it. You don't have to read it. And again, we're just going to jump right into the presentation because declines, I mean, we all get them in any way that you look at it, declines suck. So if we were going to look at the Oxford Dictionary and look up the word decline, we're going to see different synonyms for it. Refuse, dismiss, disdain, turn down, spurn, reject. At the end of the day, they all mean the same thing. Your client got declined and they're not getting coverage. So what does that mean for chat GPT? There's a lot, of, lot going on in the internet right now with that. So the top five reasons that chat GPT says that a life insurance uh, application would be declined and we're going to pick on the Simpsons for the uh, for my presentation today. So kind of a fun way to round out uh, your presentations that you've had to sit through for the last couple of days. So the number one health issue that your clients get uh, declined is, is, again, health issues. So whether you're Homer and you've got a heart attack or your Marge Simpson's twin sisters who are still smoking, even though they beat cancer, or your Mr. Burns with juvenile diabetes, um, health concerns are the number one reason that a client gets declined. Again, it could be a pre-existing medical condition that's considered high risk, uh, but at the end of the day, it's all spelling out a decline. Number two reason, according to chat GPT for decline would be age. Some life insurance policies have age limits. At assumption, we go up to issue age 85, um, but there are policies that don't go that high and applicants who are too old are going to be declined. What about risky lifestyle or occupation? If an applicant uh, engages in high risk activities such as Marge over there and skydiving or extreme sports, uh, they may be considered a high risk and their application declined. You could be like Homer working in um, a high risk occupation, or you could be like Sideshow Bob who's just done some criminal activities and spends time in and out of prison. Number four reason that your clients would be declined is substance use or substance abuse. So if an applicant has a history of drug or alcohol abuse, they may be considered a high risk and their application declined. So Homer, uh, who appears to be drinking and driving, and uh, Marty, who looks like he's got a heroin needle stuck in his arm, and the other gentleman who's supposed to be shooting uh, some lines of sugar, but it could be cocaine. And the number five reason that a client gets declined financial reasons. So if an applicant doesn't meet the financial requirements for the application that they're applying for, they actually may be declined. And from our own personal experience here at Assumption and a lot of the case consultations that you as the brokers bring into to us, residency status. So if they don't, uh, you know, a lot of individuals that are newcomers to Canada and some insurance companies say that you have to be here for a specific amount of time before you can apply for insurance. So residency status would be the number six reason for decline. And again, whatever the reason is for the decline, declines bring out all the feels. So if a person's declined for life insurance, how do you think they're gonna feel? Well, frustrated comes to mind. And I would say that that's probably the number one feel that your client will have. So if a person's declined for life insurance, they're going to feel frustrated about the process. They're frustrated about the outcome. Um, they're going to feel that they were unfairly judged or that the decision was made without considering their individual circumstances. Another feeling could be anxiety. If a person's declined for life insurance, it's going to create anxiety about their financial future the well-being of their loved ones, if something were to happen to them, how am I supposed to look after my family? What about disappointment? Being declined for life insurance can be extremely disappointing, especially if the person was counting on the coverage for their own peace of mind or to provide for their family in the future. 
Do you think embarrassment? Do you think clients would feel embarrassed? Absolutely, they would. They're going to feel embarrassed or ashamed if they're declined for life insurance, particularly if they feel that it reflects poorly on their health or lifestyle choices. And I would say the number five feel that a client would have is anger. And, you know, in those cases where the person is angry about being declined for life insurance, um, they're going to feel that the decision was unfair. They were misled about their chances of being approved. And what are the odds that they're going to refer you to family or friends, right? So it's important to remember that being declined for the for life insurance, it doesn't mean that the person is uninsurable. It doesn't mean that uh, they can't take steps to improve their health or reduce risk factors that uh, may have contributed to that decision. It's also important for us as brokers to let your client know um, that there are options and then to explore those options with your clients. So in other words, take a difficult conversation, turn it around and spin a positive on this. You know what? Be direct that your client, you know, you know what? I've dealt with other, other individuals as well who've been declined. And here's the reason why the life insurance company declined you. Be empathetic because, again, remember that nobody likes to receive bad news. So do what you can to sort of soften that blow. And then provide context. Again, explain the reasons why they were declined. Let them know that, you know what, there is other alternative solutions. So if the person is still interested in listening to you, then let's talk about those alternative solutions. You know, let them know that there are carriers out there, such as Assumption Life, who actually can help people in your situation. In fact, I always like to tell my brokers, why don't you offer an alternative solution first? You're having that conversation with your client, family history comes up, um, history of cancer, um, diabetes, COPD, If the individual talks about sleep apnea, blood pressure issues, you know what? You can always do that application for your traditional fully underwritten product. Absolutely you can. But again, have that conversation with the client and say, hey, you know what? From my experience, it's going to take probably two, three, four months, especially if we have to write out to specialists. If there's a history of cancer, they're going to write out to the oncologist and, and everybody knows that those special doctors, the oncologist, the endocrinologist, the cardiologist, they're not getting back really quickly, right? They're going to take their time. So it's part of our due diligence to say to the client, let's get you coverage first. We'll get you issued and approved. And if this comes, you know, up down the road where some, you know, another traditional insurance company can get you coverage quicker, you can always go back to the simplified issue product that you wrote and cancel it if need be obviously there'd be a chargeback but listen if there's that client gets declined rated or postponed you're going to look like the superstar because you got that coverage in place four months ago and if something were to happen them during that four months you already got them coverage and again you're going to look like the superstar and part of our job is to get referrals from our clients um because, um, you know, that's that's what we're in the industry for. So it's really important to remind your clients that they're not alone. There's a lot of people out there that are hard to insure. And I know I talked about the Simpsons in the first part of my presentation. So what I'm going to do for the next little part here is I'm going to not talk about the Simpsons, but instead I'm actually going to showcase some individuals that you may or may not have known were hard to insure. And I do see that there is um, a question in the uh, in the Q&A, and I also see, um, which is great, and I appreciate that, thank you. So what I'm gonna do just because it's the, you know, the end of the day, and I think I'm your last presenter, is I'm gonna take the questions, and if there's time at the end, I'll answer, and if not, I'll just take them off screen, and I'll send you back an email with the answer, okay? So first person we're gonna look at is Kathy Bates. Kathy is a phenomenal actress. Uh, One of my favorite movies that she starred in is Misery. It's a Stephen King movie. So great movie. Um, But did you know that Kathy Bates has had cancer two times in her life? It's true. 2003, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. She had a hysterectomy and nine rounds of chemo. And then in the summer of 2012, she found out she had breast cancer. 
she is still insurable. So we've got a female non-smoker, her age nearest is 75 with multiple occurrences of cancer. With a lot of our competitors, more than one occurrence of cancer, you're gonna be stuck in a guaranteed issue product. But at Assumption, we're gonna offer her our best non-medical plan. It is called Platinum Protection. It provides immediate protection from day one. Now, typically this plan, issue ages 18 to 70 would go up to half a million. But because Kathy is 75, we face reduce from half a million to 125. So she still qualifies for $125,000 of a whole life product, no waiting period, no doctor's reports, no writing out to oncologists, just simple immediate coverage. Michael J. Fox, I'm sure we all recognize him. Probably many of us uh, grew up watching him in the movies and Back to the Future. So he's been very vocal with his diagnosis of Parkinson's. And even though he was diagnosed at age 29, which is incredibly young, um, he didn't become public with this diagnosis for at least another seven years. And he continued working until about three years ago when he actually finally retired from acting. So he and his wife, very vocal, very public about Michael's battle with Parkinson's disorder. We have a smoker. Age nearest is 62, diagnosed with Parkinson's at age 29. So Michael J. Fox actually qualifies for immediate protection. So again, no deferral period, um, no doctor's reports, nothing, just full immediate protection right from day one called Golden Protection. This one only comes in a whole life product up to $100,000 of coverage. But again, we don't have any deferrals or any surprises at the end. No doctor's reports, nothing, just immediate full protection. So normally when I'm doing this, I try to pull out my uh, my fan because, you know, who doesn't think that Ben Affleck's a little bit of a hottie, right? So lots of talk in the industry about uh, Ben Affleck. Now, not so much lately since he's been married to Jennifer Lopez. Um, but did you know that Ben has... Uh, an alcohol addiction. So he very public uh, battle with alcoholism. And then ironically enough, he was at a masquerade ball and, uh, and lost his sobriety after celebrating one year of being sober. He's been in rehab four times, 2001, 2017, 2018, and uh, most recently, yeah, about four years ago. So we've got a male smoker, his age nearest is 51, multiple stints in rehab for, uh, for alcohol abuse. He still qualifies for platinum protection, immediate coverage, um, no waiting period, no deferrals, no post issue or, or um, APS, uh, just full coverage from day one, no deferrals. He can choose term 10, term 20, which are fully renewable and convertible. Uh, he can do life pay, he can do 20 pay, but he gets immediate protection right up to half a million dollars of coverage because our drug and alcohol question has a three year look back period. And since he's, you know, most recently was four years ago, he is absolutely perfect fit for our platinum protection. I got to update my slide here. So Max Domi, um, son of Ty Domi, he... I put this one in here because Max reminds me very much of my own son, um, simply because um, Max was diagnosed with type 1 juvenile diabetes, otherwise known as T1D, type 1 diabetes, when he was 12 years old. He was playing hockey in Detroit and, um, and got diagnosed with uh, type 1 juvenile diabetes and we had to leave games uh, regularly to check his blood sugars. He now has an insulin pump. Uh, again, very similar to my son's situation who got diagnosed when he was 10 uh, and he was big into lacrosse and, uh, and he now has an insulin pump, but enough about me. So um, Max Domi, he's now signed a contract with Toronto Maple Leafs. So I've got to update my picture because I'm showing him there in the Nashville Predators jersey. My point is he's got type 1 juvenile diabetes. So Max is a non-smoker. He is 28 years old. Um, he was diagnosed with T1D when he was 12. He has an insulin pump and he also has an autoimmune disorder, celiac disease. So 
Max qualifies for full coverage from day one. Every carrier, ladies and gentlemen, has their sweet spots. And I'm going to share some of them with you. But right here, diabetes is one of our sweetest sweet spots of all. We don't ask how long you've had diabetes, how old you are when you got diagnosed. Um, what are your A1C numbers? Are you on insulin? Are you on metformin? Are you on Genuvia? We simply ask, do you have diabetes? And, and then we list out seven conditions. Three of them have to do with your heart. We ask about um, hypoglycemic coma, amputation, gangrene, or peripheral vascular disease. So because Max is 28, he was diagnosed at 12, he qualifies for full coverage from day one. We're not writing out to his endocrinologist. I don't care what A1C numbers are. Um, it's just immediate full protection up to half a million. Term 10 or term 20, fully renewable and convertible. Life pay or 20 pay. Or you can, you know, combine if you want to do like some final expense coverage and add a term rider, you can absolutely do that. Autism. So good old Canadian boy, Dan Aykroyd. So Dan, interesting story with him. Dan was actually expelled from two different schools when he was 12 years old. His teachers actually thought he had Tourette syndrome. Years later, Dan gets married and his wife goes, Tourette syndrome? Uh, I don't think so. There's something more going on here. So off they go to the doctor. And lo and behold, Dan gets diagnosed with autism. He's still absolutely insurable. We got a male, non-smoker, age nearest to 71. He was diagnosed over 59 years ago with autism and he has Tourette syndrome. He still qualifies for platinum protection, immediate protection, full coverage from day one, because again, he's 71 to 85. We normally go to half a million, but we face reduce for those ages down to $125,000 of whole life coaverage, no doctor's reports, no post-issue APS, just a simple full coverage right from day one. I told you earlier that every carrier has their sweet spots. And for Assumption Life, I did say that diabetes was our sweetest of sweet spots. And ladies and gentlemen, depression and anxiety is number two sweetest of sweet spots. So everybody knows Lady Gaga um, and she's very vocal with her diagnosis of depression. She also suffers from anxiety, PTSD, and fibromyalgia. So again, very vocal about the fact that she takes medication for her depression. Now she is 36, female non-smoker. I said she's got depression, anxiety, PTSD, and fibromyalgia. She qualifies for platinum protection. Immediate coverage, no waiting period, no deferrals. We're not writing out to any doctors. Um, we don't ask about depression and anxiety on our application. So it's just immediate full coverage from day one, up to half a million. Term 10, term 20, fully renewable and convertible. Life pay or 20 pay. Sweet spot number two. Elton John. So Elton John had a pacemaker implanted in 1999 due to irregular heartbeat. Another um, word for irregular heartbeat you may have heard is arrhythmia. So on a side note, he did have prostate cancer in 2017. Uh, he was very fortunate. He did not have to go through chemo or radiation. They simply treated uh his prostate with um, prostate cancer with surgery, they removed the prostate and he is still insurable. Oops, I went a little bit too far on that one. Oh, no, I didn't, disregard. Um, okay, so Elton John, we got a male non-smoker 75, pacemaker and cancer survivor. Now, if we were just looking at the cancer, we could have offered Elton immediate protection in our platinum coverage right from day one. But because he had a pacemaker inserted, that is treatment for arrhythmia, irregular heartbeat. Now, the pacemaker, because of that insertion, we can offer him immediate coverage still 
but it's under our golden protection, which comes only in a whole life product. Now, this typically goes up to 100,000 of whole life insurance. Um, again, 71 to 85, we would face reduce from that 100,000 to lower face amounts. Because John is 75, he qualifies for $50,000 of whole life immediate coverage. Fun fact, um, my cousin actually used to be his personal masseuse. So I'm just saying out there in case John ever, you know, sees this slide, this might actually be kind of a nice thing to leave your personal massage therapist, right? 50K when you pass away. Um, Kanye West, lots of media hype on him. So Kanye West, no big surprise, at least I hope it's not here. He was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when he was 39 years old. He's now 46. He is a smoker diagnosed with bipolar and uh, seven years ago and takes medication daily for it. I couldn't imagine what he would be like if he didn't take his medication because he's already, uh, you know, out there. However, um, because he has bipolar disorder, the best we can, we can do for him, it's immediate protection under our golden protection. So he can go up to hundred thousand dollars of whole life. Again, it's immediate coverage from day one. There's no waiting period, no doctor's reports, nothing like that. Just simple, full coverage from day one. Ben Stiller. One of my favorite actors, absolutely. He's just such a, a, a great, uh, a great actor. Along came Polly, absolutely hilarious movie. Anyhow, Ben Stiller. Interesting story with him. Um, so it was back in 2014. He went to his family doctor for... Um, just his regular checkup and doctor said, you know what, Ben, it's time to check your PSA levels. So when they checked his PSA, um, they found out that, uh, that it was off the charts and they said to him, like, you've got an aggressive form of prostate cancer. So they didn't have to do chemo or radiation. So he's got gorgeous thick hair. He didn't have to worry about losing any of that uh, beautiful head of hair. He just had surgery to remove the prostate. So he is still insurable. He is a male, non-smoker, 57, diagnosed with prostate cancer nine years ago. He qualifies for platinum protection, which is immediate protection right from day one. No waiting period. He can do term 10 or term 20, fully renewable and convertible, life pay or 20 pay up to half a million. Uh, no doctor's reports, no post-issue APS, uh, no blood, no urine, nothing, just immediate full protection right from day one. Because our cancer question is a is a time-based question. But as long as you are cancer-free for five years, you qualify for the best protection that we have, which is immediate protection right from day one. Christina Applegate, if Anybody listening has not seen the Netflix series Dead to Me, do yourself a favor. It's three seasons. Phenomenal, phenomenal series. Christina Applegate is in it. Just absolutely love her in, in that um, show. I grew up watching her um, and Married with Children, where Al Bundy was her dad, the shoe salesman. Probably many of you did as well. So she was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2008. She had a full mastectomy because uh, she tested positive for the BRCA gene. And then just a couple of years ago, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. She's very public about her cancer. She's very public about her MS diagnosis. So we have a female non-smoker, age 51, diagnosed with MS two years ago and a cancer survivor. Now, if she had just had the cancer, we would have been able to offer her platinum protection because it's been over five years, but she got diagnosed with MS two years ago. She still gets immediate protection, but she's going to um, go under our golden protection, which goes up to a hundred thousand dollars of whole life insurance. It is immediate coverage from day one. Again, we're not writing out to doctors and looking for reports, uh, golden protection up to a hundred thousand dollars. It only comes in a, in a permanent solution. And again, it provides immediate coverage right from day one. Jack Black. 
I know a lot of you probably loved him in School of Rock. I personally loved him in in the Cameron Diaz movie, The Holiday. I thought he was great in that one. Um, So Jack really doesn't have any health issues at all. He's just a little bit uh, too short for his weight. So he is five foot six, but he weighs about 245 pounds. So male, non-smoker, too short for his weight. We still qualified him for platinum protection, half a million dollars, full coverage from day one, no waiting period, term 10 or term 20, fully renewable and convertible, 20 pay, life pay, um, immediate coverage, no waiting period, like I said, no doctor's reports, nothing. Now, here's a trick one for you, because probably all of you are going, hmm, I, I don't remember seeing her in any movies. You didn't. I actually threw in Pamela Fernandez simply because this is a great example of why simplified issue carriers exist. And I love this slide because I'm sure there's many of you on the, on the uh, Zoom call today who would probably do a case like this to a traditional carrier where this is a great example. Send it to us. Let us get you the coverage. If you want to write out to the traditional carriers after, please do so. But this is why we exist. Let's let's dissect this one, okay? So Pam, three-time Paralympic champion, diagnosed with uh, juvenile diabetes when she was four years old. She became legally blind. In other words, it's called retinopathy. And that was a result of diabetes when she was 21. She had a kidney transplant at 27. Okay? We have a female non-smoker, 63. T1D diagnosis at age four, retinopathy, legally blind at 21, kidney transplant at 27. Platinum protection, immediate coverage, full coverage from day one, half a million, term 10 or term 20, which are fully renewable and convertible, life pay or 20 pay. And you're probably sitting there going, say, what? Yes. How did we do that? Well, you know what? I'm glad you asked. Pam, I told you our diabetic question, I, it doesn't matter what age you were diagnosed at or if you're on insulin, metformin, Genuvia. What I do ask is, do you have diabetes and? And remember I said my and question, three of them were heart related. She doesn't have any heart issues. We ask about peripheral vascular disease. We ask about gangrene. We ask about amputation and we ask about a hypoglycemic coma. We don't ask about retinopathy. And kidney transplants. Some of our competitors will say, have you ever had an organ transplant? And it doesn't matter what age you had it at or when you had it, you're stuck in a guaranteed issue product. Ours is a time-based question. And because Pam had a kidney transplant when she was 27 and she's now 63, she qualifies for platinum protection. Immediate coverage right from day one. That, ladies and gentlemen, I love that slide. Those are great examples of why you would want to deal with the simplified issue carrier. And it sort of brings me right into this next slide. And I absolutely love this because Edwin had said, these are great examples that make it easy to refer to, to, a, uh, to connect to a product solution. And thank you for that. I also did have, um, Shirley had said how much the premium for each example. So, you know, you guys are like, this is this perfect segue into this because it's really expensive, right? Well, let's have a look. So Chris, he's 45, non-smoker, type one diabetic, age, diagnosed at age 12. A little bit of a build issue going on with Chris, 5'10", 277 pounds, sleep apnea, and he doesn't use his CPAP machine. Now, you know, are the underwriters going to look favorably upon Chris? I hope all of you are shaking your head because absolutely not. They will not. He needs half a million dollars of a T20. So if, and that's a big if, he was going to get standard issue rates, which he won't. But if he did, you're looking at 80 bucks a month, full underwriting. But again, that's, and it's not going to happen. Um, that would have to go out to his endocrinologist and then they'd also read out to his his um 
GP and then his sleep study doctor. And this one's going to take months for you guys to get it issued. So you know what? He is almost 50 pounds more than the standard height and weight uh, uh, chart. So I think I was being generous here. We did a 200% rating and we probably are being generous here because he he's probably more like, you know, a 275. Anyhow, if it was a 200% rating, Chris is getting rated at 160 bucks a month after full underwriting. Guys, platinum protection, full coverage from day one, no waiting period, immediate coverage, up to half a million. Wait, the need is half a million. We got him covered. Term 2,500,000, $140.85 a month. Or yeah, $140.85. I'm getting all excited for Chris. Um, policies are typically issued within 72 hours. So you're getting Chris policy issued and approved. You're getting paid and a paper policy sent to IDC. Boom. All within seven days. How do you like me now? Mary. So Mary needs a hundred thousand dollars of a whole life product. She's 60. She's got type two diabetes. Um, so it's controlled. So that typically means diet and exercise. She was diagnosed with angina when she was 54. I told you she needs 100,000 of a whole life product. So again, if she were to get standard issue, which she's probably not going to, given the fact that she was diagnosed with angina at 54 and she's a type 2 diabetic. But if she were, $100,000 after full underwriting. So again, writing out to the endocrinologist as well as her cardiologist. So four months later, uh, it may come back standard issue doubtful. Usually when it takes that long in underwriting, it's getting a rating. So we put her in at 200% rating. So that would bring her premium to 369 a month. She qualifies for gold and elite with us, immediate coverage, no waiting period, $100,000 of whole life, which is exactly what she needs. And look at that. We're actually cheaper than the 200% rating because we're coming in at 263 a month. No doctor's reports. Charles. Charles is 55, male non-smoker, diagnosed with a fatty liver when he was 50, had a heart attack at 51, and he also had a quadruple bypass with stents inserted when he was 49. Charles needs $50,000 of a whole life coverage because he's just looking for final expense solution. So again, standard rates with full underwriting, 100 bucks a month. Is Charles going to get standard issue rates? Uh, no. He's got fatty liver, which is going to go out to his, his family doctor for, you know, um, APS. Heart attack, quadruple bypass with stents. That's going to go out to the cardiologist. So by the time that comes back two, three, four months later, um, with a 275% rating, you're looking at 231 bucks a month with full underwriting. Assumption life, we can offer him golden protection. Immediate coverage from day one, no doctor's reports, no waiting period, just immediate full protection right from day one for $149.81 a month. Again, policies issued within 72 hours, you're paid, clients happy, they've got the coverage that they need. So our processes and products. So let's have a quick peek. Uh, we do offer simplified issue which is what I'm talking to you about today. Simplified issue, we have term 10 and term 20. That goes up to half a million dollars, full coverage from day one. We have whole life, 20 pay or life pay. Again, up to half a million dollars. There are a lot of um, health conditions that I haven't talked to you about today. And that's simply, you know, just in the essence of time. And, and I'm respecting the fact that you guys have been on Zoom calls for a little while. Um, but if there's any health conditions, you know, we love to do case consultations. So reach out to us. That's what we're here for. Um, we have a lot of products on our Simplified Issue shelf. In fact, we've got five different coverages. And if you have a peek there, you can see that three out of the five are immediate full coverage from day one. So Platinum Protection. Um, Golden Protection Elite, Golden Protection, all provide immediate full coverage right from day one. Silver Protection has eight questions. That's our graded deferral. So client dies in the first 12 months from any natural cause. 
it's going to be a return of premium plus 3%. If they die in the second year, so the 13th month to the 24th month, we pay out half of the face amount. The dead by accident is full coverage from day one. Um, and bronze, well, congratulations, because you've all qualified and, and been approved for that. Because as long as you're alive and you're breathing, you got a pulse. And uh, you're between 18 and 80, which is another sweet spot, because a lot of our competitors in the guaranteed market will stop at 75. We go up to issue age 80. If you're if you're loving what I'm saying and you're like, Mal, this is all great, but I don't know where to start and I'm not contracted with assumption. It's completely fine. Please don't get frustrated like Homer over there. You can actually pre-qualify your client yourself without being contracted with us. So if you were to go to simplifiedselectiontool.com, um, and, and again, if you're sitting with your client, you're doing your traditional app, I encourage you to do this. So you don't have to be contracted with us. You go here, you're on the internet, you got your client there, you put in five foot nine, 268 pounds, male, non-smoker, and then you start to answer some questions about them. And at the end, it'll tell you which coverage they qualify for. And, uh, and then we're happy to get you a quote. Leah, she stands for Life Insurance Anywhere. This is our electronic application. And um, very, very easy to use. In fact, you can get your application signed, sealed, delivered, done, everything within 15 minutes, even if you've never used our e-app before. It's extremely easy. Again, if you need some help on that, you reach out to our team and um, we're happy to help you out. So typically policies are issued within 48 to 72 hours. Now, given that fact that we've just gotten off summer holidays and, you know, and people are at a lot of conferences and stuff like that. So um, it's not unusual for us to experience delays in our new business area during the summer months when it's really busy or, um, you know, when we're doing shows like this and and uh, and then we just get inundated with a, a ton of applications coming in. So right now we are we're typically I think right now we're at about five days to get your policy issued and approved. okay um, as long as the client can truthfully answer no to all the questions in a particular section, that's the one that they qualify for. We do check MIB when the application comes in. Um, yes. Uh, let me just actually put it in the chat there. Sorry, I'm just jumping off uh, into the chat box for one second, everybody. Simplified, how I can spell simplified, selectiontool.com. Boom, there you go. Because uh, Janet was saying she didn't get the website uh, for doing the quotes. So that was it there, www.simplifiedselectiontool.com. We don't do any um, post-issue APS or underwriting please understand that when your applications come in, we check them up front. So we're going to screen them against MIB. And um, and then if the underwriters need more information, they'll reach out to you. So that part's pretty simple. Um, okay, processing timeframes. So again, typically, if you've got all your answers on our application in platinum protection or whatever section that you're answering, and they've all been a truthful no, and there's no MIB hit, again, we should have your policies um, issued and approved within 72 hours. Uh, you guys get paid because we pay commissions twice a week. Policy gets delivered, boom, everything's done, usually within seven, seven to 10 days. 10 days is my max, okay? So if there is an MIB hit, you will actually get an email from us that says, due to confidential information received, please note that when you get that, it means that you, there's an MIB hit. So, so everybody hopefully knows what MIB is, the Medical Information, information Bureau. It means that your client's applied somewhere else at some point in the last seven years. They've been rated, postponed, or declined. There's a code. The underwriter sees that. They're checking our question to make sure that the code matches up with our application. Again, if it's for things like depression or anxiety, we don't ask about it. You're good. But if it's for um, heart issues, which we do ask about, or cancer, we may come back to you uh, for a little bit more information. So certainly get back to us with that information. And when we get that information, we have 72 hours to process the application from that point. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. If it did, again, please reach out to your sales team. Um, we're right across Canada. 
We are happy to help. So Homer's doing his little happy dance because, you know, you will be too because we've got your policies issued in a good manner. So make sure the names are spelled correctly and that they match the ID. Oh, make sure that the birth date matches the ID. And if we don't ask about something, you don't have to tell us. So I'll just repeat that. If we don't ask about something, you don't have to tell us. And just to make sure that you heard me again, if we don't ask, you don't have to tell us. Many times brokers will say, well, my, my client, you know, is off work because of anxiety. I don't ask about anxiety on my application for simplified issue. There's a reason for that. We're okay with your client being off on anxiety or stress leave or depression. If we don't ask about it, you don't have to tell us. We are okay with that. Assumption Life is a mutual insurance company. Um, we've been around for 120 years. Our head office is in Moncton, New Brunswick. And we're 100% brokerage based, which means that uh, we sell to brokers and, and through MGAs. Uh, we don't have anybody sitting at head office answering tele television commercials or anything like that. Um, we have amongst the fastest turnaround times in Canada. As I mentioned, we pay our commissions twice a week. You don't have to send us originals. There are no delivery receipts. We do pay a momentum bonus. So if you have never done business with Assumption or, you know, if, if you have and you're getting close, the momentum bonus works like this. In a calendar year, so January 1st to December 31st, if you generate $10,000 of net annualized first year commission, so it doesn't include the override that IDC pays you, if you hit $10,000 of NAFYC during the calendar year, once you hit that, the next month you get paid your bonus. We don't wait a whole year to pay you. We pay you next month. So if you do 10K of business, you'll get $1,500 the next month. And then every piece of business you send us after that, you get that bonus added on to that piece of business and it gets paid out the next month. So the first year you qualify for this, we're paying you at 15%. The second year, if you hit 10K again, we pay you out at 20%. The third year, 25 and the fourth year or more, it's at 30%. Now it's called a consecutive bonus, continuous bonus, because you have to do it every year. If you do um, $10,000 of NAFYC in year one and two, and then in year three, you do 8,000, well, guess what? You're not getting a bonus that year. And then the next year, we're going to pay you out at 15%. So if you want to track your progress, uh, reach out to your inside wholesaler and uh, and we can get you those numbers. Um, if you are getting a bonus right now through another simplified issue carrier and you're you know higher than 15%, let us know. And as long as you can provide proof that you're getting that, we are happy to match it. Now, I mentioned to you um, that we do do case consultations. So please reach out to us. Uh, we are your team right across Canada. So Shirley covers uh, Shirley covers Western Canada. Jen covers Ontario. Uh, Youssef and Valerie are in Quebec. Uh, and Madi is in Atlantic Canada. I'm helping you guys out today and hosting this. Um, but unfortunately I don't cover IDC. So please, if you're in Ontario, reach out to Jen. And then we've got a wonderful team of inside wholesalers. So, uh, Pauline and, and uh, Pauline sits at head office. Patrick covers Western Canada and Atlantic Canada. Uh, David sits at head office. Shirley is, uh, sorry, Sally is in, um, Quebec and Farnaz covers Ontario. So our inside teams here to help you. So if you guys want to know where, where you at for um, that um, momentum bonus, reach out to your inside wholesaler and they'll let you know. And that is it for my presentation. I will turn my camera back on now. Uh, you guys have been amazing and I thank you for that. So I'm going to see if I've got some questions because I do have a little bit of time. Is there a solution for client waiting for tests? There's such a backlog in Alberta. Uh, great question, Jane. So it depends what test. So we do ask about, um, you know, where you're waiting for a pending consultation or anything. Now, 
tests are one thing. Um, again, it would depend on, how, you know, what sort of tests they're waiting for and whatnot, but we can provide coverage. If you have a client that is awaiting day surgery, and you'll know that it's day surgery because um, it's surgery that they go into the hospital for the day to have, and then they get to come home. So day surgery is excluded um, from our, our pending consultations. So if you do have somebody who is awaiting day surgery and it's been pushed off because of the backlog at the hospitals, we can still, it provided all the other questions are truthfully answered no. In platinum, we can still provide them immediate protection right from day one. Okay. Um, you're welcome. I'm happy to help you guys out. And uh, I think I think that was it. I don't, oh wait, let me just go back into Q&A. Uh, contestability period with everybody is the same. It's uh, it's that two years and um, same thing as the suicide clause. You're welcome. And uh -huh. just checking to see if I can. I think that's pretty much it. I've got the questions answered. Um, so, yeah, thank you.